Hey, 64th Gear Jammers, this is Logan, and I've got a great show truck to talk about today. After you take a quick moment to tap that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. The story behind this magnificent Peterbilt 389 show truck goes like this. The truck was created and owned by Chad Smith. STS Transit Company was established in 1979 and incorporated in Ohio with their company headquarters in Sandusky, Ohio. STS is a contract truck hauler of General Freight, primarily using Peterbilt trucks. The STS fleet grew to 99 trucks, and this diecast model is a replica of the 100th truck added to their fleet. Chad Smith found this truck just sitting on the STS lot. The truck was already white, with a blue stripe and a blue frame. Chad bought the truck from his dad with the idea that he wanted to make it something special. After all, it was the 100th truck in their fleet. A lot of the work to upgrade the truck was done in-house. However, a lot of outside talent was used as well. Chad and two of his STS men removed every bit of the interior of the cab right down to the wires. Lacking the painting skills and equipment in-house, Chad turned to Rodan Customs of Pennsylvania and had them paint the interior of the cab and the exterior striping. Since the interior of the truck was removed right down to the wires, the upholstery had to be replaced. This was done by Portage Trim of Ravenna, Ohio. The reinstall of the interior was accomplished by Chad and the two helpers. Imagine trying to sort out all those wires and get them right back where they belong. The sleeper was also reworked in-house. Credit goes to Chad's wife for the lighting effects inside the sleeper. Future use for the truck, besides being a show truck, it is also going to be a workhorse. Plans are to use the truck to move freight when the need arises. Hey guys, what we have here is that beautiful Peterbilt 389 with Mack square bottom coal dump with a spread axle configuration. It is in that beautiful white and blue paint scheme for STS Transit and it is that custom show truck that they've got. It's a DCP by first gear using all DCP toolings. It comes in that standard DCP by first gear box ages 14 and up which all of their trucks really are underneath we'll bring it up here so you can see and there is the barcode licensing marks and item number of 60-0827 the box is the same and I'm gonna go on and open it up another quick note about these it has that mural on the inside and the two-piece blister and normally they go on and tape that two-piece blister together but I've already cut the tape to save a little bit of time now this truck did come with an extra set of mirrors right here and it did come with a fifth wheel cover a lot of the custom show guys will run these little fifth wheel covers to cover up their fifth wheel when they're showing the truck off and it's right there in the extra package on the other side it is cream and you can see it has two body blue matched stripes really nice now let's go on and open them up and take him out of here and one and then let's set the tractor back so we can start off with the trailer you can see this is a mirror finish you can see me right there in the mirror it's a mirror chrome finished trailer. It is the Mack trailer, their square bottom coal dump that's available either as a tandem or a spread axle and this is set up as a spread axle. You can see the three quarter fenders on the back axle and the full fenders on the front axle. They are blue. They are white with the blue striping on them to match the thing. They've got the frame match blue on the frame and the underside of the trailer really sharp 
underneath it has sort of working suspension a very nice modern tread pattern for the tires they're a soft rubber tire and they ride on 10 hole chrome wheels they've got a little black to make the mud flaps that are hanging down off the fenders there's also your air ride suspension on front and rear axle in this spread configuration front side has a little plastic piece that is chrome plated to look like a stainless piece that they have on their real trailer and then there's some lights up there on top of it you can see them right there also up under the by the kingpin there's a date 20720 so this truck was made on the 207th day of 2020 kingpin is set up for standard dcp first gear neo and advantage die cast uh, trucks the landing gear is the standard screw down type that is used on all the dcps on the sides of the trailer up across the top there are several marker lights there are several marker lights down in the bottom along in the dot striping and then you can see the mac trailer logo right there there's little wire rings up there for the little ladder so you can climb up and check on your tarp round to the back Mac trailer mud flaps on the sides and the great Big Mac in the middle. Lots of extra lights there and then your regular brake lights. Of course they painted them all white. Now I'm sure that's when the lenses come on they look red but they painted them all white. Same with the three little marker lights in the back. Got your DOT striping on both sides of the coal chute door and then you've got Mac branded logos on two of them on the tailgate. Now the little coal door has a little lever and it does actually open very carefully. Come on, open up. Well, it's supposed to open. The tailgate also opens. Sometimes that little door just wants to jam and really won't open, but it's it does open. if you're very careful with it. Onto the passenger side, same details, only you see the hooks where the tarp rolls up and into and locks in place. Round to the front, more mirror finish. You can see me right there in it. And then you can see it's got the Mac logo right there on top. It's big and centered. And then the little front mud flaps. Well, they're actually part of this chrome piece right here they're not a separate part they're just painted black but they're there to simulate the real mud flaps that are on these trailers top of this trailer is got a black tarp black painted piece right here and then this tarp does come out and roll over And you can see it just goes right in them hooks when it rolls over, just like that. It's got the strakes, the roof strakes for the tarp to hold it up, and then it's a, just a silver painted interior. You can also see on the interior where the uh, piston is for the hydraulics. Now another note, this trailer does raise and lower. You can see there's the piston and the fifth wheel piece pivots just like that pretty cool I'll show it all hooked up here in just a moment but to talk about the truck I'm gonna go on and put this landing gear down so the trailer can go sit off by itself it's just your standard DCP first gear landing gear where it screws down DCP was great with this this idea for landing gear now we'll set this to the back and get the tractor and bring it to the front. And it screws far enough down that it actually sets the trailer level. Alrighty then, now let's bring the truck up. Isn't that Peterbilt 389 just beautiful? That white with the blue striping on it and then the blue batched frame. It's got full fiberglass show fenders on the back, and they included the blue striping right there on the show fenders. STS Transit and USDOT 
766557 are painted there on the frame which satisfies the requirement you got your company name and your DOT number it has chrome fuel tanks chrome straight pipes chrome breathers chrome mirrors chrome battery box and air tank with and steps 10 hole chrome wheels front and rear and soft rubber tires the outline of the sleeper door is silver as is the vent and the door handles same the outline on the regular door is also in silver up on the hood and in, in that striping you see the beautiful peterbilt red oval it's got a turn signal mounted on the fender and let's go around to the front oh also on the back of the little fenders it has a little black mud flap around to the front custom chrome grill with a custom chrome texas drop bumper peterbilt 389 style little turn signals and single round headlights hanging off the grill ain't that cool very very retro for that pete no peterbilt logo above the grill which is more very common but a lot of show guys will take them off turned up a little bit you can see it's got the bow tie style drop visor which wipes out most of the window black ring around the window the glass is hard plastic the truck is all is die cast the visor is plastic the windshield wipers are molded into the window and they are tampoed in black as well you can also see those two turn signals and they're painted white just like the ones on the real one matches their paint scheme coming around to the passenger side and you see the STS transit the DOT number show fenders wheels fuel tanks now it doesn't have a sleeper door this just has a toolbox door and a vent there and being a 389 it has that little small window on the passenger's door there is no side passenger or driver's windows they're rolled down on this truck and then we'll go on around also you can see some pretty nice rivet detail in that 63 inch flat top sleeper coming around to the back it has a real nice woods graphic on the back window extra white lights on the back window and the regular lights that would normally be on this sleeper that would be painted black but they've got them white on this guy it's got that really long frame it doesn't have your mud flaps it has these uh, show fenders so they put this extra bar here rear bumper with lots of lights across of it all painted in white I'm sure on the real one they glow red when they hit the brakes but on the model they're all white you can see the back of the blue frame the white paint and we'll tip him up blue fifth wheel there the blue striping on the deck plate they completely covered over the deck you'd also put that fifth wheel cover on there in the blue the white and the blue stripes would match so it just looked like it's all one piece you can also see the striping over the fenders underneath <laughs> you can see that deck right there and then you can see it's got the rear axles with differentials air brake canisters and drive shafts suspension that sort of works and then coming down this way you see the bottom of your fuel tanks bottom of your exhaust bottom of the engine which is in red so this would be a Cummins and then it's got the uh, gray for the transmission right there steering is positionable it is not true steering it's just positionable. it clicks in place so you can set it turn or straight of course they really don't roll straight though and being a 389 from DCP the hood does open under the hood you see that red Cummins engine the charge air piping for the turbocharger system and the top of the engine really nice job they did on these guys 389s are sharp interior detail it has a black gear shift black steering wheel gray dashboard and gray seats doesn't exactly match the real one they should have been white but that's all right you don't really notice it inside that tiny little cab anyway through them windows now let's set him down and hook him all up to do that I need to put this landing gear right back up and I'll show it to you guys both with the uh, 
bed down and with it up in the dump position so you can get a good idea what it really looks like. Get these things just a couple twists with the fingers and the landing gear is up. And there we go, guys. There it is with the tarp open. The Peterbilt 389 for STS Transit with Mac square bottom coal dump trailer down. And then the tarp is open. Now I'm going to go on and raise him up. And there it is. And then with the bed raised up and the tailgate does open you can see that right there STS Transit USDOT 766557 Peterbilt 389 with Mac square bottom coal dump custom show truck for STS Transit owned by Chad Smith isn't that a beautiful truck all of STS Transit's trucks are Peterbilt's and they are maintained in immaculate condition inside and out. While supplies last, I sell these models and other DCP trucks on my website, dcptrucks.com and farmtoysandmore.com. Links to the sites are down in the description below. Also, there's a link down there to my Patreon account where you can help support this YouTube channel to keep great videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, the founder of Advantage Diecast, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.